I was in the market for a remote control for my phone and I chose these two based on some online reviews. They're reasonably priced and they both got good reviews so I thought I would take a look at them and figure out which one I like best. They both have a decent price. The Cam Kicks is $8 or between $7 and $8 and the hi C was about $24. Both of these devices are really easy to connect. You go to your Bluetooth, you press the button, if it hasn't already been paired with something, uh, that device will show up. Uh, in the case of the hi C, it's BLE Camera Remote. And you just click select it and hit pair. Connects immediately, no problem. The Cam Picks, same thing. Press the iOS uh, button. Uh, it shows up as AB Shutter 3. Select that, say pair, and it connects. All right, so I'm gonna try both of these Bluetooth remotes on a few different apps. So one time-lapse app that I have, it's called Lapse It, and see how it works on that. Okay, now you can see it's changing the volume. It's just turning the volume up, basically. So the Cam Kicks remote does not work with Lapse It. All right, let's try with one of the other apps. Okay, so now I'm going to try it uh, using um, ProCam. Okay, and that's working well. So that's in picture mode. If I switch modes, okay, so pressing the button starts the video recording. So that works fine. So that is in ProCam. Blah, 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 that's enough. Both of these remotes work really well in all of the apps that I tested with, except for Lapsit. So far, their functionality is virtually identical. So now I'm going to test the range. The high c claims to work up to 90 feet. And I found that to be true, at least outdoors, with a clear line of sight. It worked reliably to 90 feet and a little bit beyond. The cam kicks didn't have the range of the high c and worked reliably only up to about 40 feet. So depending on what you're using it for, if you're planning to record a rare or dangerous animal and you need to be at a safe distance, then the extended range of the high C will benefit you. Otherwise, it doesn't really make much of a difference. If you're taking a picture or video at relatively close range, then either one of these remotes will do. All right, so outside of the camera apps, the remote does have a function of turning the volume up or down. And even though there's a single button, it works by uh, as a toggle, so if you hold it down, it'll go uh, in one direction as long as you're holding it down. When you let go and then press it again, it changes direction. So I can control the volume with it as well. So it serves as more than just a trigger for your photos or videos. That's pretty sweet, right? If you have an iPhone 7 or later, there is no headphone jack, so this lanyard won't do you any good. As it was, it was very short, and using the headphone jack as a way to store your remote might be practical on occasion, but not something that I would use. If money is a big part of the decision, then Cam Kicks is the clear winner. If you want the additional features such as extended range, longer battery life, and the ability to control volume in other apps, I recommend the hi C. So there is a version available that will work with your Android phone. There's some links below where you can purchase these remotes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.